Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. So today I'm going to share with you guys my manga wish list for 2021. Not gonna lie, my wish list is quite ambiguous as at the moment I'm currently I think I'm collecting 14 manga series that are ongoing so I don't know if I'm ready for another big commitment plus the 14 series that I have already so we'll just have to see but yeah you guys voted to see this video first um, compared to the rest of the videos that I like to upload so here I am to deliver also stay tuned for next week's video where I'm gonna walk you through my manga spreadsheet as a lot of you guys suggested me to film that video after seeing my online manga shopping with me video and you guys saw my like manga tracker so yeah I'm gonna film a spreadsheet video and just teach you how to create one like it's just a simple one so you guys can track your manga so yeah stay tuned for that for next week where I help you guys but yeah um, as always before I get into the video please like comment and subscribe you know the drill already and click on the bell and yeah so this video is gonna be a little bit different as I'm not just gonna throw you guys a list of series that I want to collect I'm also gonna walk you through my thought process on why I want to collect it so I am gonna screen share my laptop and just like go through the series with you guys on my anime list and also guys um, if you guys um, didn't know my down bar down below already I now have an affiliate link for Black Wilds which I'm really excited for so if you ever do shop on Black Wilds and want to support this channel feel free to use my links down below I'm just really excited to have an affiliate with Black Wilds now as I do shop from there a lot and also I'd like to give back to the community and do giveaways in the future and gift cards and that as yeah that will be very sick so I'm just gonna start recording my screen and yeah okay it's recording so right now you can see my manga spreadsheet at the moment very very colorful but yeah stay tuned next week for seeing that video where i'm gonna walk you through on how to create a manga spreadsheet and that stuff but anyway so let me just go on my anime list perfect so the first series that i like to collect let me just get out my list so I have a manga wish list on my phone, which I'm not going to talk about it in any specific order, but I'm just going to go through what's on the list first. And the first one is Golden Kamui. So I'm just going to search that up on uh, my anime list. Golden Kamui. And there we go. I believe this does have an anime series. Um, series does look like it has an anime, not just the manga series itself. And oh, wow, third season. Let's see that. And then first one. So, okay, oh, it came out in 2018. Jeez, I never actually heard of this series being an anime until recently. And oh, so it only just finished airing the third season. Okay, that's really cool. I don't know about you guys, but some manga series, I feel like some are made for manga and some are made for anime. But to be honest, I have checked this series out. Um, if you guys haven't seen my manga shopping with me at Forbidden Planet, I did see Golden Kamoi. And at first, I was a bit like, oh, this series might not be for me, as I saw a lot of guts and gore. And to be honest, the series is not like that, it's more like an adventure. And I did read two of the chapters online. And and I absolutely loved it, that's why it's on my wish list. So I do believe Golden Kamoi is quite an ongoing series. So I'm just gonna check um, on backup updates and see how many volumes there are. Um, Golden Kamoi. It's like it has 24 volumes out at the moment and is ongoing so it sounds like it's a very ongoing series um shit um not gonna lie if i first knew that it was 24 volumes it may not have been on my wish list but to be honest after reading the two chapters i'm actually sold on the series and i am i think i'm ready for the commitment to collect the series so i'm really excited to add this to my collection for this year but oh 24 volumes oh and it's still ongoing i don't know why but after seeing that it's 24 volumes ongoing at the moment it kind of reminds me of that feeling with Yuna and the Dawn as I'm currently trying to collect that series however volume one has been out of stock for a very long time so I don't know it's very discouraging in that I want to collect the series however I can't get volume one so yeah I didn't I don't know about Yuna and the Dawn but with Golden Kamoi reading the first two chapters online was it was awesome so definitely I'm gonna collect this series so I'm gonna read the synopsis and see if you guys are interested in collecting this series as well bear with me because I am dyslexic so let's go um so Saichi Sugimoto is feared as the Moto Sugimoto for his savagery on the battlefield during the Russo Japanese war but he is by no means a war hero Sugimoto has been left to fend for himself after his release from the army for nearly killing a superior officer jeez braving the rough terrain of 
of Hokkaido. Sugimoto is now searching for gold in order to keep the promise to his lost brother in arms. His efforts have been fruitless for a long time until a mysterious traveller tells him of an urban legend that would rid him of all his troubles. So according to the legend, a criminal stole the gold of Ainu or Ainu, oh shit, I'm really butchering these names, sorry, the indigenous people of Hokkaido and hid it away in a location that can only be found when a map made not from pieces of parchment, but the tattooed skins of escaped convicts is brought together. Upon meeting the young Ainu girl, okay, I know who she is now in chapter two, okay. Aspira, Sugimoto sets off in search of the tattooed prisoners, but many dangers await as soldiers and merchandisers seek the gold as well. Aided by Aspira's knowledge of the lands, the two of them depart to find the stolen Ainu gold in a journey of revenge, murder, and greed. So from that, I don't know if you guys find that interesting, but yeah, do comment down below if you guys would pick up Golden Kamoi, as Golden Kamoi, I think is quite a very popular series in the Man community already. So yeah, I'm really excited to pick this up but yeah feel free to comment down below what's on your manga wish list for 2021 as well but yeah um so currently this series has probably actually let's search how much volume they had in english right now oh i can't even spell put golden jamoy golden kamoy so 2020 2020 so december i think this will probably be later series so volume 19 okay that's quite um, close to the Japanese release then. Prices doesn't look too bad on the website here as it says £7.99, £7.31, so not too bad. But I am going to buy the series physically in Forbidden Planet as I remember this series was on free for two. Definitely straight out of lockdown, the first thing I'm going to head to is Forbidden Planet and pick up the series. As yeah, I'm really excited to have this in my collection as it does seem like a very interesting series to have and just something to read, man. But yeah, the next series I like to collect is... Kaguya-sama Love is War, so um, let me search that up on my anime list. Kagu... Crap, I can't spell. Kaguya-sama. Okay, I'll search it up like this with my bad, um, Kaguya. Kag what did I spell it with? Jeez. Okay, so the manga series is okay is ongoing at the moment this i think is another very ongoing series which um let me just copy and paste this let's make it easier for myself and put it on back updates to see how many volumes they have out currently so this series i saw on forbidden planet so i'm, I'm gonna pick this series up as well the next time i go out shopping when we get out of lockdown um so currently it has 20 volumes ongoing so that is a very ongoing series so this series was never on my radar i did see it in a lot of people's hauls but i was like oh it's just another shoujo yeah is it a shoujo oh no oh it's a seinen actually so it's a comedy romance school seinen okay um, so this series, I, I wasn't sure, I don't know about the art style as well, but after seeing people pick it up and talk more about it, I started to get intrigued and of course that's why I added it to my wish list. Kaguya Summer Love is War is actually quite a popular series in the manga community at the moment and I'm just going to read the synopsis to see if you guys are interested in it as well. So considered a genius due to having the highest grades in the country, Miyuki Shirogana leads the prestigious Shushin Academy Student Council as its president. Working alongside the beautiful and wealthy Vice President Kaguya Shinomiya, the two are often regarded as the perfect couple by students despite them not being in any sort of romantic relationship. However, the truth is that after spending so much time together, the two have developed feelings for one another. Unfortunately, neither is willing to confess. <laughs> That's so jokes. As doing so would be a sign of weakness. <laughs> I know this series is going to be fun to read, just from that line. Um, but anyway, with their pride as elite students on the line, Miki and Kaguya embark on a quest to do whatever is necessary to get a confession out of each other. Through their daily antics, the battle of love begins. Oh, jeez. Jeez, yeah, this series sounds really fun. This series came into my radar when someone commented on my video and said this series is a must to collect. And yeah, thank you to that person because now it's on my wish list. But yeah, um, that is a series that I'd like to collect and I'm interested. Next on my wish list is A Sign of Affection. And this series I really can't wait to read. I actually had this on pre-order already. So, okay, it's ready there. So this series is by the same manga as Shortcake Cake. I still haven't read this, as you can see, I still have the 3 for 2 label on here. But um, yeah, I'm going to read it soon. 
But um, yeah, I read the first chapter on the Kodansha website and I literally instantly fell in love with the series and I really can't wait to collect this in my collection. So currently it only has three volumes in Japan. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad then. So this is a very, very new series then. Um, but yeah, so this series is debuting in February and I already have this in pre-order. And you know how I always say I love when a series get me sucked into the manga? This is the series that really did this job and I can't wait to read more of it. So what got me attracted to this series is that I saw this on the Kodansha website and I saw it was going to release this year and I was like, oh, what's this? And it's another shoujo. And this shoujo... <sighs> It's different. I don't know. Like when I read the first chapter, like the male lead made my heart skip a beat. <laughs> Literally, I'm not even lying. So this series is about this girl who is Yuki, and she is a hearing impaired university student. And I just like how she doesn't let her disability get in her way, if that makes sense. Even though she's hearing impaired, and I like how the guy acknowledges her disability and still is like, oh. I want to pursue you that type of thing and that just makes my heart just flutter so much but anyway i'm just going to read the synopsis for you guys so yuki is a hearing impaired university student whose world has been shrouded with silence since birth she has lived in the same place her whole life and rarely interacts with others except her best friend rin during her commute one day she meets the silver-haired multilingual itsuomi a mutual friend of rin unlike most itsuomi is unwavering when he learns about yuki's impairment this, along with his experiences abroad, fascinates and touches her. After they part, her fondness of him starts to grow. A new world begins to open for both Yuki and Itsomi as they learn about each other's different lives. This series is, oh, I don't know, it makes my heart flutter. The thing is, I haven't even read much of it except the first chapter on the Kodansha website, and I am sold. This one. If I pre-ordered it, it shows that I love it. And the only pre-order I have at the moment is Sweat and Soap and Perfect World. So yeah, that it just shows that I like the series and I'm really intrigued how the series is going to go. I don't know much about this mangaka and her writing style as I still haven't read Short Kick Kick yet. But hopefully, yeah, this is going to be a very good one and I can't wait to see where it goes. But yeah, the next series that I'd like to collect is Golden Japanesque and I'll just search it up. Golden Japanesque. So this series is by the same manga as Kare First Love. I'm really intrigued how the manga's writing style has changed ever since Kare First Love as Kare First Love came out in early 2000s I believe and this series only came out in 2018. So yeah, I'm really interested. This is a historical romance and shoujo. The so Golden Japanesque is set in the Meiji era, which is an increasingly populated port city. And it's about this girl who is called Mari and she's 16 years old and she's half Japanese with wavy blonde hair and big blue eyes like her father. But her appearance causes her to get constantly discriminated against and to avoid this, she stays hidden most of the time. So. She observes from a distance a student who often lacks an inspiration. However, the student who's named Shinataro, who is the son of a celebrity, meets the girl one day and tells her that she looks like a mermaid. From that day on, Mari plunges into a world beyond her status and origin. Okay, so it sounds like a typical story plot, but um, yeah, I'm actually interested in it as it is by a manga that I really like. You guys already know how I feel about Kare First Love with the main guy lead, like how the manga did a really great job in creating that character. So yeah, I'm really interested about um, Golden Japanesque. So I will pre-order this or I will purchase this um, manga series once it comes out the next time I go manga shopping or do my online manga shop. But um, yeah, next series that has been on my wish list for ages and that is Arjun. So let me just search that up. I absolutely love the anime series. Not lie, at first I was turned off by the anime series because of the art style as it's what's it called is it 3d or something yeah I, I wasn't used to it but one day one of my friends was like yo tiff you need to watch this series it's amazing and after that hey Arjun changed my life not gonna lie and knowing that it has a manga series I really like to collect however it is a very very pricey manga series um it is I think £10.99 per volume and the volume sizes are kind of like cutie and the beast which is 
freaking tiny. But this year, my goal is to pick up as many Arjun series as I can. So yeah, that is the goal. Um, so this series is an action mystery horror, supernatural, and it's a scene in series. And yeah, the anime is awesome. I don't think I need to talk much about this series as a lot of you guys probably heard about Arjun and it's probably in your shelves already, except for me, cause I'm a late one. But yeah, let's see how ongoing this series is. Um, Arjun. And this series I'm going to pick up online as they don't do free for two, unfortunately. As this series, I, who is it published by? Let me just search. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure who it was published by, actually. Arjun. Arjun, so like you can see the typical price is like £8 something on Book Depository. So most likely I'll pick it up from here next time. But it's published by... Okay, it's published by Vertical. That explains a lot with the price. £10.99, as you can tell here, the retail price. But yeah, it is a series that I can't wait to read as it has such an awesome anime. And a lot of people have raved about the series, especially the manga sloth. And big shout out to the manga sloth. He is an awesome guy. If you guys don't know who the manga sloth is, you guys are missing out on his content and also if you don't know he uploaded his collection video recently which is awesome okay so if you guys haven't checked his videos out go check it out um because yeah he's a sick guy uh, anyway so this series is about 17 years ago mysterious immortal soldiers known as divine warriors appeared on the battlefields of africa these life forms later became known as arjun or demi humans and were considered to be one of the greatest discoveries of mankind the government declared their existence to be compatible with humans, however it is rumoured that they are instead offered bounties for captured Arjun to secretly perform inhumane experiments to these rare beings. K- I can't even say his name, shit. K Nagai and Ampethet- Fuck. Fuck, fuck. K Nagai, an empathetic high school student, is studying to become a doctor and only wishes to live a normal life. However, this simple dream is shattered after he suddenly gets into a traffic accident. Reviving at the scene, he is immediately labelled as an Argent by bounty-hungry witnesses. Unable to understand his immortality or prove his innocence, he starts to live his life on the run and fights for his survival. He barely escapes the government's reach when a group of a narcissistic Arjun contacts Kay, asking him to join their forces to retaliate against the government. But who is Kay's real enemy? And which side will he take when it comes down to human versus Arjun? Yeah, this series is an interesting one. If you guys haven't seen the anime, I do recommend you guys to watch it. It's definitely awesome. But yeah, I really can't wait to pick up this series. As I said, this goal for this year, I'm trying to collect as much Arjun volumes as I can. As I don't think after my internship, I'll be able to afford for Arjun. So that is why my goal is to pick up as much volumes as I can. Because I know once I go back to uni, I won't be buying as much manga as I do at the moment. So yeah, trying to pick up as much Arjun volumes as much as I can. That is the goal. I know I do look a bit different as my camera died and yeah let's get on to the video anyway let me just screen record my screen again and um, okay so the next manga series that I like to collect this year is Blue Flag let me search this up so Blue Flag I believe this is a LGBTQ series please correct me if I'm wrong um on the flag there it is. So it is a completed series and it only has eight volumes. Let me see how many volumes it's out in English at the moment. So blue flag. Oh, is it in caps? Sorry. <laughs> um, so the recent um, volume that came out recently is volume five. So okay, three more volumes to go. So it's not a long series at all. And I heard a lot of good things about this series that is about friendship. Big shout out to my friend Monica on Instagram. She recommends me this series as she's currently reading it at the moment. And she did say that um, she can't stop thinking about this series. And yeah, that helped me solidify the series in my wish list. As yeah, I've been eyeing this up for a while and a few people have recommended it to me. Um, and there is a lot of hype of this series in the community at the moment so I've been curious about this series let's see the score actually so some people have rated this as an 8 a 6 a 10 and an 8 okay okay that's not too bad it's quite diverse um so I guess it's either you like the series or you don't that type of thing I I don't know but um the genre is romance school and shonen and let's see the price for the series okay so oh it's actually quite expensive for 
a volume. It's £9.99. Okay. I might pick this up at Forbidden Planet as well, as I believe this one is free for two. If not, I'll pick her up um, online. Actually, let's see the... Um, what is it? Let's see the publisher. That will be, give me a better idea. Okay, Viz Media. Definitely, it's free for two, because I did see this in the lgbtq section in um forbidden planet so yeah definitely gonna pick this up high school senior year spring one of life's important forks in the road Daichi Ichinose finds himself in the same class as Futaba Kuze who he feels strangely averse to and his popular childhood friend Toma Mita one day Futaba confides in him her love for Toma and asks him for help how will Taiichi respond? This new pure love story begins as the three are coloured in the emotions of youth. So I guess this will um, cover like identity crisis as being a teenager. Um, a lot of people go through when they're in high school. So yeah, I'm very interested in this series. The next series I like to collect, you guys probably be surprised that I don't have in my collection. And that is Orange. Let me search this up. So Orange, I have read the series already. I read it when it first came out. And when did that first came out? did it come out let me check so it came out in 2017 oh why why do i feel like it came out a lot longer than i oh know 2012 my bad but it was completed in 2017 so i must have read this only three or four years ago then um okay that's i i'm i don't know why i'm so gobsmacked i feel like i read orange a lot longer than that but um yeah i guess i haven't read this too long ago but yeah i don't have this in my collection and i remember reading this series and being so like uh, how do you say it like i was so invested in orange if that makes sense and for orange there's only two omnibuses and one volume of the future where it talks from a different perspective but yeah i've been planning to pick this up this year as i've always been wanting to collect this series but i don't know why i never picked it up but yeah that is the plan for 2021 to pick up orange very very sweet manga series oh actually no i'm online very bittersweet manga series okay so and um, i believe there's an anime for this but i don't think i've watched the anime actually which is very strange because normally if i read the manga i normally watch the anime but anyway so with the synopsis one morning now takamiya receives a letter in the mail claiming to be her form self 10 years in the future the letter reveals a series of events that are supposed to take place that day. At first, Nao thinks it's just a prank, but when the letter mentions a transfer student named Kakeru Naruse, who really ends up transferring to a class later that day, she is forced to believe in its contents. Uh, in its contents. As Nao continues to read the letter, her future self mentions several regrets, urging Nao to take the right decisions now. Somehow, these regrets all seem to be connected to Kakeru and with the burden of the knowledge that the boy wouldn't be with her and her friends in the future. Oh, I'm getting emotional because I'm remembering some parts that happened in the manga. Oh, yeah, this is a series that I definitely want to collect this year and reread because if you can feel how I feel right now, I don't know why just reading the synopsis I already feel emotional because you can tell how Orange impacted my... Oh, why am I feeling emotional? Ah, <laughs> oh, let me calm down, let me calm down. No, like literally, Orange is such a great series and it really hits the spot for me. But yeah, um, where was I saying? So somehow these regrets all seem to be connected to Kakadu and with the burden of the knowledge that the boy wouldn't be with her and her friends in the future, will now be able to make the perfect choices that will alter what seems to be fate. <sighs> yeah, I really, I really want to reread read the series right now, actually. Um, but yeah, I have to pick it up either next month because I have bought manga for January already. But yeah, Orange is a series that I'd like to collect in 2021. So the next series i like to collect is Parasite. Oh, Parasite. I don't know why this one is another emotional one for me as well. Um, just Yeah. So this series has 64 chapters and 10 volumes. I believe it only goes up to 9 volumes in English or 8. Let me just... So Parasite has 8 volumes in English. Um, but as a series that is very... Um, 
it really hits the spot with me with this one as well. It plays with my heartstrings, like the plot is amazing. It's very beautifully written in my opinion. There's a lot of um, action as well. And if you haven't watched the anime, I recommend you guys to watch it. Currently it is out on Netflix. And yeah, I haven't re-watched it yet because I really want to reread the manga, then re-watch the anime. But um, yeah, during the time when um, Parasite came out as an anime, I don't know when it came out as an anime actually. Let me search. Um, give me a second yeah so this yeah this anime came out 2014 and 2015 and during that time i remember that was like one of the dark stages of my like lifetime <laughs> yeah it sounds very deep but and i remember parasite was the thing that i was looking forward to every week like every new episode and yeah i don't know it holds a lot of nostalgia as it came out at a time where i was going through a lot but anyway that's probably too tmi for you guys but this series is phenomenal and the art style is freaking sick i don't need to sell the manga to you guys because most likely you guys already have it in your collection and yeah i think this is a very staple like shonen series let's see what the oh it's not i keep on getting it wrong with these genres okay it's not a shonen series it's a seinen series so parasite is an action drama horror sci-fi psychological and seinen series and what i like about this series is the psychological part definitely got me thinking and i love the horror aspects and the sci-fi part definitely yeah this this series i'll say i can't really say much for the manga's perspective as i haven't read it yet but the anime if you have not watched it, I really recommend you guys do. But anyway, let's get on to synopsis. So parasites are tennis ball sized creatures whose numbers and origins are unknown. They invade and take over the human mind in order to survive. Shinichi Izumi is a 16 year old high school student who lives with his parents in a quiet neighborhood. One night, a parasite invades Shinichi's body in an attempt to take control of it. However, it fails to complete the takeover process and ultimately ends up inhabiting only his right arm. Thus both, Sinichi and the parasite who calls himself Miki retain their individual minds. By the way, Miki means right. Um, now in a peculiar human and alien relationship, Miki proposes that they cooperate to survive. Shinichi has no choice but to agree and he must now cling to his morality as he and Miki faces off against other bloodthirsty parasites. Yeah, I don't know if you get the synopsis from me reading it, but trust me, this is a series that is just phenomenal like i can't say anything more because i, I just love the series so much that yeah definitely collecting this this year 100 percent um so the next series i'd like to collect which is another series that is quite popular with the community at the moment and that is witch hat altelia altia i'm butchering the name i definitely am um but um yeah witch hat i'll just call it witch hat so i heard of this series being a mixture of studio ghibli and harry potter which I don't really understand but at the same time that sounds really cool so um that got me intrigued and lately i've been seeing it in people's halls so yeah that's why i've added it to my wish list um but this is an ongoing series and this series is a fantasy magic and seinen series and it got published in 2016 oh okay i'm gonna search on backup updates um and see how many volumes is out in Japan. Apparently in Japan it only has eight volumes ongoing. Okay, that's not too bad then. And it only came out in 2016. Okay, that's reasonable. So this series is about Coco, a humble dressmaker's daughter, has always been fascinated by magic and the witches who cast it. Despite the strict precautions they take to hide their methods from the public, however, when Coco takes advantage of a golden chance to spy on the skilled witch, Queefree? Queefree? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Queefree, she realises that her favourite picture book was a disguised magic book all along. In her excitement, she immediately starts testing out the various spells. When a spell causes a disaster in her home, Queefree rescues her just in time and decides to train her. Realising that she is the first lead he has found that could help him track down the brimmed caps. A dangerous group of heretics who experiment with forbidden body altering magic and spread magical artefacts among the commoners. But before Coco and Queefree can confront the brimmed caps, she is going to have to improve her magical skills and learn to get along with Queefree. Queefree. Quee, 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 why am I saying quee? Key free, it can be key free, not quee free, because it's not, hmm, okay. 
correct me how I can say that name, Keyfree or Queefree or something else. But anyway, it sounds interesting, but what attracts me the most about the series is the art style. So yeah, as some people have compared this to Studio Ghibli, I'm really intrigued to see how the art style is and just read it. I know Bakahime loves this series on Instagram and YouTube. If you don't know who she is, go check her out on YouTube. If I mention any manga YouTubers, I'll add them down below so you can check them out as well. Um, but yeah, she likes the series and um, yeah, I guess I'm going to pick this up. And another series by the same author um, is that I would like to collect is this one. And I, I don't even want to dare to pronounce this one. I only heard of this series recently from Takuto in his recent video. Um, and yeah, go check him out as well. He posts manga videos, K-pop stuff and all sorts. This series only has three volumes, which is not a lot of commitment, which I love as sometimes being a manga collector, when you collect ongoing series, it's really hard to keep things up to date. Um, definitely in my series, I have a lot of series that are not up to date, but um, it is what it is. Um, at the end of the day, it is a very expensive hobby. Um, but we're working on it, we're working on it, it's fine. So um, this series is another Satan and its genre is comedy and demons. But the synopsis on here is quite um, limited. So I'm gonna search on Book Depository or Blackwell. And the first one's £7.74, £8.74. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, okay, they're not even out yet. So this series is definitely very fresh as it the first volume only came out um, in November and there's only three volumes. So um, okay, that's awesome. I like how it's three volumes and I don't need to collect all of them straight away as they haven't um, all been published in English yet. But yeah, definitely I can't wait to check the series out and see what it's about. But let's see what it says on Blackwells. Okay. When Eniel, the coy angel and Dawiella, the serious devil, get into frivolous spats, interesting spats, the whole world gets caught up in their antics. Whether it's wrecking New York in a bid to nab some famous cosmetics, interesting, getting into a car chase in Paris over a clothing quarrel, or sink in Tokyo thanks to zombie outbreak. It's the event of an otherworldly duo who are both beautiful and obnoxious. Okay, just from that, I can tell this series might not be for everyone. I feel like the art style for this is gonna be stunning. So yeah, I can't wait to give this a read when I do buy it. And another series that I like to collect that has been on my wish list for a very long time, and that is Happiness. Search this up. So Happiness is completed by the way and um it's about vampires i believe but um yeah so this series is by shuzo oshimi which is very well known in the community he's a great manga however i don't own any of his manga series i think his most popular ones are like um flowers of evil oh yeah and this one this is a series that, oh i don't can't believe i didn't add this on my wish list this is another series that i like to collect as well um, it's blood on tracks, but anyway, let's look at happiness for now. Um, this series is um, a scene in and it's about vampires, drama and school and this is completed. Um, I do believe the volumes are quite expensive. I don't know how expensive they are now as I feel like they might be out of, not out of print, but like really hard to find series at the moment. Mmm, not available for sale. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? I thought Blood on Tracks, okay, I wanna search if Blood on Tracks is, can I get it now? Not now, but I wanna see if Blood on Tracks um, has stock. Oh, wow, what happened to this series? Why is it, what's, what's, why is it not available for sale? What's going on? I'm a bit surprised because this series only came out recently, 17th of November, that's for the third volume and is not available for sale. Why is that? Can someone tell me why? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I wanna find happiness. Okay, there we go, happiness. Okay, the price is not, not too bad and I can see quite a few volumes here. But yeah, let's see the synopsis. Makoto Okazaki is an unpopular high school student who is frequently bullied by some of his classmates, being forced to act as the errand boy, but this but his life drastically changes one night when he is attacked by a mysterious girl ooh, who plunges her teeth in his neck and begins drinking his blood. Upon satisfying her craving, she offers Makoto a simple choice, become like uh, become like her or die. Jeez. Um, 
ultimatum, okay? I see you there. When he wakes up in a hospital after his encounter, Makoto is unable to deal with his blindingly bright light and finds that water cannot quench his growing thirst. Okay, he became a vampire as well then. Okay. I remember someone saying this series doesn't have a lot of narration or not a lot of writing, it's more of an art style. I'm really interested in Shuzo Shimi's works up as I have never read his series. I d yeah, I don't believe I read any of his series, not even Flowers of Evil which came out quite a while back. Um, but yeah, that is definitely a series that I'd like to collect. But oh, I'm just so sad that um, Blood on Tracks is really hard to find, like why? Let me just search and just Google Blood on Tracks. manga and shopping let's see what's going on here yeah hmm then planet yeah i'm quite confused why it's really hard to get at the moment like are they not printing what's what's going on <laughs> but anyway the last series that i'd like to collect is i want to eat your pancreas your pancreas so this is not a lot of commitment as well as i believe it's like an omnibus like a thick book um is it this one just making sure like how i make sure with series as well i check the isbn and i just copy that and put it on google and just make sure i'm getting the right thing as sometimes it's very easy to buy a manga series that is not in the right language as a lot of people do buy things in German, in Europe, for ex by accident, not in English. Yeah, okay. Okay, this is the right one, cool. So the, okay, it's £12.99, that's not bad. Original price is £14.99. I do believe it's quite thick, like probably the same size as Paradise Kiss, maybe a little bit smaller. But um, yeah, let me just slot this back in. Um, yeah, I'm really intrigued what it's like in manga format as I really like the anime. I'm not trying to say that anime is the most amazing anime I've watched ever, but it did hit the spot at the right time for me. Like, I read, no, I read, I watched the anime last year and, um, yeah, I, I don't know how I watched it. I think I was on Facebook and it was there and I was like, oh, is this an anime? It's not Kimi no Nawa, like, your name or something like that. So I've never heard of I Want to Eat Your Pancreas and to be honest, the title was a bit weird as well, so <laughs> I didn't know what it was, but I watched it and I, yeah, I did, I did, I did shed a few tears at the end and, um, yeah, I felt like it was very beautiful and I really want to collect this as the art style was, yeah, it was great. So we have reached the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, definitely it was fun to show you guys what I'd like to collect for this year, but like I said it's very ambiguous as I would like to be within budget and there are other series in my collection that I still need to collect that are ongoing like The Promised Neverland, um, Living Room matsunaga san Wreck from the Rose King, like those type of series that I'm still collecting and um, plus the series that I mentioned today. But I think I got this, I got this. I just need to work hard, grind hard, make as much money as I can before I go back to uni. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also stay to the end of this video, not gonna lie, literally your love and support is absolutely unreal and I literally wanna thank you from the bottom of heart. Like creating this YouTube channel and having my Instagram, you guys are so interactive, like I love it, I literally love it. And I'm just so happy that I have this platform to share something that I love and also you guys helping me with my manga addiction as well. But yeah, stay tuned for next week's video where I walk you through my manga spreadsheet and just teach you how to make one and that and also my manga haul definitely you guys are is, is gonna be a good one i i can't wait to show you guys what i got um but yeah i'm just waiting for a few more parcels and then i'm good to go to film my haul but um yeah definitely i need to buy my bookcase i don't know if you guys know but currently in the uk we're still in the lockdown so a lot of the shops are still closed so i can't go to ikea and pick up my bookcase or anything like that as um yeah number one the shops are closed number two i don't have a car that can fit the bookcases and um yeah i might just have to pay that 40 pound delivery but it really just hurts my heart and it really hurts my bank if i pay that 40 pound delivery as bookcase only costs 35 pounds so 
yeah, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but hopefully I can get my bookcase soon. And once I do, you guys will see my collection video very, very soon after that. And me organizing my manga. I'm really excited to have a bookcase, but at the moment, all my plans are postponed, but I'm still gonna continue buying manga as always. I just have to scatter them all over the house. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please give this video a like, comment and subscribe. Have a very blessed day. Keep on staying safe. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.